your sword. Pick it up. Goodbye. Hi there, I'm Finwa. I'm Lost. And I'm Frankie. And welcome back to Red Steel 2. Cutting up some dudes time. This level puts us right into the thick of it. Uh, the, this portion of the level is not nearly as crazy as what just happened out there. Why couldn't you control that? Ugh. Because it was pre-rendered. Yeah, we're, we're all waiting on the DLC expansion where you play as GN. I'd rather play as Judd, honestly. I pretend I said Judd there. Also, a great way to kill the Guandao Ninja is just throw every single one of your uh, hidden strikes at him. You're bound to take him down sooner or later. Crates. I love watching these crates pop. <laughs> you know, I honestly don't know why I'm still collecting money. I know, that was that's what I was wondering when I was uh, screening this. I was like, why is he getting all the money? Money is musical notes in this game. That's right. You have to collect all 100 in one run. There's no new game plus. I mean, like, you don't actually need any of the moves to, like, get around the environment, do you? Why couldn't they just like give them all the, give them all to you for like a new game plus, let you speed through it? Well, that's what we're doing in the challenge mode run. Mm -hmm. We have all our moves from the get go. Uh, Fenwa thought that he was playing Whiplash up until this point. <laughs> There's a cage. No, that's not a cage. Well, it could be used as a cage. Repurposed. It was used as a cage for Tomiko. Oh, -ho. entertaining Shinjiro. Yes. They put her behind a door and said, Dance for me, lady. You have the physics for it. And so right around this corner we have a Guandao Ninja and a Katakata Chain Gunner. We'll be... <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to that. We're in mystical Asia land. Did you see that dude in the bright red coat? No, I saw nothing. Oh well. <laughs> Who turned out the lights? <laughs> it's not bright red. You're the picture of stealth. In your crime-fighting fedora. It's pain! <laughs> So they, they throw one enemy at us that wastes our time, coupled with an enemy at us that uh, intermittently just fills us with bullets. I just love how that dude, the, the what are the, the guys with the staffs called? Uh, Guan Dao Ninja. Right, I love how they how when they're attacking you, they're just spinning their thing and just walking towards you. Like, if you walk into me and you get hurt, that's your own fault. <laughs> yeah, like, th that's right. And so, like, during this part, you're like, are you done? <laughs> Seems like that flip is a good uh, opportunity to just shoot them. He breaks my block too, which just adds insult to injury. If only you could use them as human shields. I, I try to put the ninja in between me and the chain gunner, but nothing really comes to it because he just fucking starts spinning his sword at you like a douche. He's also simultaneously expertly dodging the chain gun bullets. Jiggling his hips about. Yes, and that's why he's twirling it. 
He didn't. He's stuck in, in the That's beam. Superpower. Ah. You lose. So I'll, I'll be frank, this recording here is not my second time fighting this uh, group of people. Or my third or my fourth. You're not Frank, I am. By the time I got to this point, uh, I was getting, uh, let's say, impatient, to say the least. Really? How can you tell? Luckily, with a little, uh, with a little bit of forbidden moves and forcing the chain gunner to poke us with his gun instead of shooting us with it. He's uh, not even moving now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> he was on a time delay. Quick, you're off sync. Those spiteful last few shots. And now I'm out of Johnny Good Ammo. <laughs> a thousand people just clicked off their videos. It's in the wine cellar. What's he doing? Getting wine. He doesn't have a bottle. Three in his bottles hand. of his hard cider. <laughs> Shot him. It feels like all three of these guys were speculating what cool moves they would unleash on you, and now that the moment's come, the magic is gone. Oh, you think that we needed some like voice acting segment there, like in a like in a Max Payne kind of game? Yes. Um, uh, I'm thinking more No Endless Forever, but sure. Why is the game even throwing jackals at us at this point? Let's demonstrate just how hard you, uh, or just how, just how far you've come. Maybe, but it's like okay, this guy just slayed a room full of ninjas and chain gunners. Let's. Let's say that it, he doesn't die when we throw a mook with a sword at him. Actually, come to think of it, I, I agree with you. I think I made this point in, in an earlier video. But it does give me an opportunity to remember that the Cobra is a move that I have. This is an expert strategy. Look at this. <laughs> Standing on a bridge. These guys at least seek cover. What the hell are you doing, Fen? <laughs> Jesus. Can you crouch? I actually cut the video back there. This wasn't my first time fighting these guys either. Not because I died, just because like one of them got glitched and hid behind one of the buildings and I couldn't get a shot on them. I love how that first grenade like blew up at your feet and it only took like less than a quarter of your health away. Huh, there was an Amaterasu emblem back there. Well, I think we've established that this game has a logarithmic scale for its health system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Much like, um... Mercenaries too. Yeah. Thank you. So can you crouch? No. Oh. Nor can you jump. And so you can't do that Halo jump crouch? No, you, you cannot do the Halo. Why why Halo specifically? That's been around since Half-Life. Because Halo is the first game I actually like used a lot in. Oh. Uh, no, all we have is our ridiculous press A to jump jumps. Yeah. Context sensitive <laughs> jumps. You know, every, every place is so difficult to get to in this game. I'm starting to think that they should have just bit the bullet and set it in Asia instead. Because, like, I don't think Nevada has these crazy cliff cities where you have no idea how the infrastructure would work or anything like that. I don't know, have you been to Nevada? Well, I think I may have passed through it once. Hooray! <laughs> Just lumbering through a room with the gun. This guy's just wandering around aimlessly. Oh! This guy's here!
thing is, I use the tiger so infrequently that I keep forgetting it's even a thing I can do to, you know, prevent him from attacking me. You'd think that for how many of these guys I've had to chew through, that, uh, that I'd be all about it by now. But you're not. No, but shooting him in the back of the head still works just fine. And they drop pistol ammo for some reason. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a very, uh, low caliber machine gun. Maybe. Oh snap. Flying treasure boxes, gotta get... Robots. No fairies, come back. <laughs> come What's back, again? I need stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I only have 383 grand, how am I supposed and, uh, to retire on this? And there goes all of our hunting rifle ammo as well. Now you're stuck with a gun that looks remarkably like your sword. And, uh, and a shotgun too, don't forget. A glowing shotgun. Cares about that. Rocks. Context sensitive rocks. You know, I find that gold bars make the make for the sturdiest climbing material. What do you say? Crater's gonna crate. I like how they just stop moving in midair and suddenly just drop straight. In. I like how they drop from nowhere in particular. Yeah, we were just hiding at the top of this cave ceiling. We hiding in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the day. Hold on, I'm out of ammo, but I gotta do a little dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait till I get my hooks in ya. These kids have guns, but all they do is dance. These claws aren't just for attacking me. Huh? I can't get the gold out. Sorry. I've ranked up too many times as Sheriff. <laughs> you are now Sheriff. Is that graffiti? What does it say? Something uh, Japanese. I think it's just the Jackal logo or something. Oh. I'm trying to use the Cobra here, but the game the game doesn't really want me to, so... I think the the protagonist hat. It's obviously supposed to be a cowboy hat, but in the in the profile uh, up top, it sort of looks like what Darkwing Duck wears. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I I totally agree. I don't know what you call that kind of hat, though. They, I I said it earlier. It's a crime-fighting fedora, oh. as it's described in the action figure. <laughs> oh right, right, right. <laughs> We need Red Steel to action figures. There were probably action figures in development. Until the game tanked. I don't think this game was ever intended to make money. <laughs> you can't tell me this was a labor of love, because it's not. Honestly, I don't think anybody involved in this game's development really... I mean, like, I think there may have been people who were, who were enthused, genuinely enthusiastic about the concept of um, gunfighting, uh, sword slinging, whatever. Simultaneously. What the hell? This guy's Okay, just you know, that was probably like the best time I ever finished off five ninjas in a row, and you just walked over the whole fucking thing. Thanks a lot, Lobst. God damn it. <laughs> How many cyborg ninjas are in this game? Uh, uh, six. Uh, oh. Several thousand. Several thousand. Wait, are you talking about the ones with the machine gun arms, or specifically like the, the weird looking dude? The one you just fought. Uh, like six. That's a very specific number. They, they do this thing where they make you lose your sword, but I always seem to be standing right where my sword's going to land. Actually, I think they rolled with the Katakara death squads that I edited out of the other video. Make it sound like they're 
genocides or something. That's right, the, uh, the Katakara stormtroopers. I hear robots. Oh, they're there. Again, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I need this money! Ah! Hear money fly into my brain. There we go. <laughs> And uh, now we get to fight uh, Okiji again. Kill his robot. We know. know. It'd be cool if after killing him, you become him. He's on fire. And you already exposed his stupid face. Hey, he just showed out a robot. Three robots. Which uh, is working against him, apparently. Yeah, Okuji really isn't any different the second time than the first time. He's uh, he's still a total bastard. He still recharges his health. And uh, he still has an area of effect attack. Did he just hurt himself with his own attack? Maybe. He's a mindless beast. He's, he's Frankenstein. His, like, armor went down, like, one bit after he, uh did that, like, ground pound thing or whatever. So, like an idiot, I dodged that mine, thinking it's never gonna come back to haunt me. <laughs> Is Fenwa going to die? You're throwing sticks down his boomerang, dumbass. You've almost got him. No. You got mine. So, once again, we're not looking at the second or third attempt at fighting with Pidgey here. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure that that last attempt you saw wasn't my second attempt either, I just edited one in cleverly. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a bastard and I died a lot here. Shoot him while he's doing that. I Nothing happens. I shoot his robots, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. You just gotta, you just gotta shoot his mines, which I keep not doing, and not shoot at him, which I keep trying to do. Fruitlessly. He looks just like everyone else in the game. No way, this Okiji is special. What makes him special? Well, he's special because he he's has dead. a face. Oh man! 